All right, let's go ahead now and apply the drop shadows to our car elements. We um, have a bunch of cars, right? One for each slide, and so we have to apply the drop shadow for the cars. Now this example is kind of a fun one, and I think it's a kind of a good one as well, because we're not going to use a standard drop shadow approach where we just create maybe a, a rectangular or circular shape, apply some you know gray fill to it, and then blur it. If you notice right here, I, actually each of these shadows is a little bit different. I know we don't have a lot of space right here uh, in the screen, but look, you know, you can see that each of these shadows has a little bit of an outline, a little hint of the uh, the car uh, it's applied to, and that's what we want to create in this example. It's subtle. It's right. It's one of those things that takes ten times longer because we have ten cars. We have to make ten different shadows. But it's a subtle design element that actually I think adds a little bit more uh, realism and uh, almost finishing to our course and to our car. So here's the car. We're going to use the background removal technique. These are easy because they're on white backgrounds, right? Double click it. Let's bring back our toolbar. And we'll just do remove background. Drag the handles out just a little bit. This is on a solid white background, so this is obviously very easy. Click away, and then there's our car couple of things we want to do. First I want to do is just save this car out. I could duplicate it, right, uh, to create the, the shadow part, but I want to save this because I actually want to fill a shape with the car. And the reason I want to do that is so I can add some transparency to that. So right click, choose Save as Picture. Now I already have this one, so I'll just call this one Car01 and I'll just call this test real quick, just because I've already put this together. So Car01 test save. Now here's the little trick right here. I want to fill a rectangle the same size as this car. Best thing to do is just click the car right here and you see the little bounding box around it. I can go to insert shape and select rectangle but now the uh, the shape's going to snap to the size of this car. This helps filling uh, the shape with the same image a lot easier. So with that selected I'm gonna right click choose format shape and let's go ahead and just choose well, first we'll turn off the line, no line. Then for fill, let's use picture or texture fill. And we'll navigate to the file. So file, and there's my test. And we'll leave it like that. So I'm going to keep this open just because I'm going to work from it. Move it over here for a second. So now I have two cars, right? So this is the default image, and this one is the rectangle filled with that. So let's go ahead and just reduce the color for the um, the shape filled uh, the image filled shape right so we'll do picture corrections and drag brightness all the way down glow and soft edges let's try a soft edge of eight and we might have to adjust that a little bit now here's the uh, the secret right here take this car and we're just going to scale it down and notice how it retains some of the outline of the car so in this case we have the uh, the truck right here and I'm going to move the truck to the top, so bring the front, and then um, just drag it around. Now I can adjust the transparency and the soft edges. In most cases, these will take the same setting, but depending on the actual car, it may um, uh, need some slight adjustments. So maybe around 30 or 50. Again, depends on how dark we want to go with this. And there's our car. A nice subtle effect that has a little bit more of the shape of the car. Um, obviously it's not completely realistic because it looks like we're still looking at it from somewhat of an angle, but it is a lot more realistic maybe than just the uh, the oval filled soft edges uh, shape that we would use, you know, kind of the uh, globally across all the cars. Now you can also modify it a little bit. Maybe you need some more of the soft edge. I can turn that up just a little bit. The more of the edge you give, obviously the thinner it gets, right? So maybe I could even bring it down to five. Uh, probably a couple more and bring the car down and there we go so the next step after we create the shadow for the cars is to go back and then group these and then we'll add the paper cutout effect for each of the cars so we'll repeat this process for the remaining cars oh we already did it but there's our drop shadow effect you can see how each car is a little bit different and uh, hopefully that uh, is a little bit more realistic than um, what you would expect if you had just used a traditional shape